Hey guys, welcome back to T-Bones Tech. In today's video, we are comparing the Canon SL3 against the Canon T8i. Now, both these cameras are very similar. They both share the exact same 24 megapixel APS-C size sensor, and they also both can record 4K video at 24 frames per second with a 1.6 times crop factor, and they can also record 1080p video at both 60 and 30 frames per second using dual pixel autofocusing. But when filming 4K video on these two cameras, we're unfortunately stuck with Canon's phase detect system which isn't nearly as good as Canon's dual pixel autofocusing system. Both these two cameras have an ISO range of ISO 1000 all the way to ISO 25600. By far the biggest difference between these two cameras is the autofocusing system when looking down at the mirror. The Canon T8i has a 45 cross point autofocusing system and the SL3 unfortunately only has a 9 point autofocusing system which is much worse than the T8i. So when you're looking down the mirror to take photos with either one of these cameras, the T8i is going to have much better and faster performance than the SL3 is. But nowadays, most people actually focus using the touchscreen on the back of the camera. And both these cameras have flip out touch tilt screens, and a lot of people actually use these screens to focus, and they tap on people's faces to take the photo. Not too many people are actually looking down at the mirror anymore. So if you're somebody who looks on the mirror to take most of your photos, you might want to uh, take a look at the T8i over the SL3, because that's the biggest difference between these two cameras. Another big difference is the SL3 can shoot five frames per second in sports mode, and the Canon T8i can shoot 7.5 frames per second, so it's much faster than the SL3, which makes a big difference when shooting sports. As far as battery life goes, the SL3 can shoot over a thousand photos on a single battery, and the Canon T8i, unfortunately, can only shoot 800. Now, as far as weight goes, the SL3 is much lighter, coming in at only 449 grams, and the T8i is a little bit heavier, coming in at 515 grams. The Canon SL3 has its SD card slot located under here, where the battery is, which is very annoying and I don't like that at all because if you have your camera on a tripod and you have a tripod mounted to it, unfortunately you can't access your SD card with most uh, tripods. Now here on the Canon T8i, the SD card slot is located where it should be on the side of the camera. So if you have your camera mounted to a tripod and you want to take your SD card out to review your photos, you can easily just open that up and take your SD card out and pop into your computer. And honestly, having the SD card located here in the battery slot underneath the SL3 really annoys me and I don't like that at all. So that's a big pro for the T8i in my book. Now, if you're somebody who never used a tripod when taking photos, then it's really not going to make a difference at all. And the last really big difference here is the buttons. The Canon T8i definitely has some more advanced buttons here on the top of the camera and here on the sides. It also has a little aperture wheel, which the SL3 doesn't. So you're gonna have more professional buttons here on the T8i and smaller, uh, harder to uh, press buttons on the SL3 because it is a smaller camera. And the SL3 is meant for more beginners and uh, just your average photographer where the T8i is meant for your more intermediate. So that's why we're gonna have a little bit more professional features on the T8i. So back to what I said in the beginning of this video, both these cameras are almost the exact same thing. They just have very small differences that I mentioned. I am gonna now read on my phone because there's a ton of similarities here to explain basically all the main similarities. Both cameras have Wi-Fi, both cameras have Bluetooth, both cameras have articulating touchscreens, both cameras here have a hot shoe mount, but actually the SL3 doesn't have a mount that can work with manual flashes, so that's actually something to keep in mind that I just remembered now by looking down here. Both have a microphone input, both of course have an LCD display, both have time-lapse recording, and of course both these cameras have that 24 megapixel APS-C size sensor. The SL3 is gonna be a little bit smaller than the Canon T8i. And as far as pricing goes, the Canon SL3 is definitely your bargain, coming in at only $500, and the Canon T8i comes in at $750. So extra $250 for the T8i. So what camera should you choose? Well, honestly, for just photography, I'd probably pick the Canon SL3. It has basically all the same features as the Canon T8i. I don't think the T8i has enough features to make it worth an extra $250. What I'd probably do is I'd take the extra $250 and buy a couple of prime lenses along with the kit lens on the SL3. Use that money towards a a 40 millimeter lens, a 24 millimeter lens, or a 50 millimeter prime lens. These prime lenses are extremely sharp and I think this will help your photography a lot more for your extra $250 than having a Canon T8i with only the kit lens. I definitely recommend using your extra money for some prime lenses. Well, I hope this video helped you guys out. If it did, make sure to give me a big thumbs up down below. And of course, make sure to subscribe button and then you'll be notified every single time I put a brand new video just like this one to my YouTube channel. But again, thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.